Hi everyone. In this video, we look at Performance Hub for MySQL Performance Management. This is the third in our video series. In the first one, we discussed about how to enable database management for MySQL Heatwave databases that are deployed in OCI. In the second one, we looked at key performance metrics, additional capabilities that are available within the database management for the fleet management of MySQL Heatwave instances. And then from there, drill down to a single database page to get more detailed information about metrics, configuration data, and so on and so forth. Until now, we've been dealing with metrics and Performance Hub takes you to the next level wherein it enables developers and DBAs to quickly improve the performance of their database applications by monitoring query performance. You can accurately pinpoint the SQL code that is causing the slowdown by making use of rich graphs and then drill down into detailed query information. This can provide significantly better visibility into the database performance issues. And with Performance Hub now, developers can improve the SQL code by looking at the query statistics and then continuously monitor and then apply techniques to improve or tune the queries on production systems. Some of the key capabilities would include visualize the query activity to get further insight into the performance beyond query statistics, and then filter down to specific query problems like full table scans and bad indexes using advanced global search options. This would allow us to fix root causes of performance directly in the SQL code. Without further ado, I'll take you through a demo showcasing these capabilities within the Performance Hub. You can navigate to the Performance Hub from the MySQL database details page from within the database management service. The way to get to this page is from the fleet summary page, which we discussed in our previous video. You can launch Performance Hub by clicking on this button. You can also launch Performance Hub from the MySQL Heatwave DB system details page. You could see a button here for launching Performance Hub, and you can also have a navigation to database management under the associated services. For now, let's go back to the database management service summary page, and then from there launch Performance Hub. All right, so I'm back to the database management MySQL database details page. If I click on Performance Hub, it would launch the Performance Hub console, which is allowing you to understand the metric for the last 60 minutes. And you can also go back in time for last 24 hours, last seven days and customize. This metric that we are seeing by default is the average statement latency for the last 60 minutes. You can also switch it to the average statement count. And if you would like to refresh, you can do a refresh as well. If you scroll down, you would see the top 100 SQL statements grouped by average statement latency, which is the default. You can also look at the total statement latency. When was this query last seen? What is the total execution count? If you had any indexes being used for a particular query or not, you can filter down by that. And also look at other statistics, like whether temporary tables were involved in a particular query execution. Was there a good index that was being used? The execution status and things like that. Now, if you look at the details here on this table, you would be able to see that this query B is being executed against a particular database, which would also allow you to understand what database am I looking at? And then you can look at the average statement latency, the total statement latency, execution count, total rows, and last seen. The average statement latency and the to total statement latency would give us an indication on the load on the database. And larger the latency, we would see that there is a problem which we need to diagnose and try to see what is causing that problem. And you could see that for this particular SQL, there is a warning for 18,000 odd uh, numbers, which states that there is a warning and we need to examine what caused this warning. You can then click on the SQL to launch the SQL details page, which then gives you the statement digest, which is the statement ID or the ID for this particular SQL. And if a database was being tracked, you would be able to see the database on which this particular SQL has been running. When was this SQL first seen? When was it last seen? What is the normalized query digest for this particular SQL? What is the total execution time buffer catered by the average maximum minimum? And also looking at the lock time, which is pretty important to understand if there was there were any locks involved here. And you could also look at the rows, a total effector, total examine, and the total sent. 
from an execution standpoint, you could see that no index was being used. And basically it was going for a full table scan is what you could see. And there were temporary tables that were involved and it also involves scans. It would also allow us to understand whether these scans or sorts were doing a lot of uh, merge passes and was it like at the disk level or is it at the memories. Here you would see there are no disk tables being used. And if you want to further drill down to the warnings, you can go to the performance schema from a command line perspective and drill down to this particular SQL. For now, these are the feature sets. We will improve these features as we continue to enhance our service features. And this would conclude our demo on Performance Hub. Thank you for watching.